Now let's get back to resolution and see how retention affects the resolution of two peaks. You can see from the equation displayed that a very low retention factor results in very poor resolution. This is nicely demonstrated by using the slider bar. The retention factor displayed is the average of the two peaks. Changing the retention factor makes a much bigger difference to resolution at low retention factor values than at higher retention factor values. This is important in HPLC method development because if an average retention factor of two peaks is measured and found to be, for example, 0.5, the first change to improve resolution would always be to increase retention. Retention factor values between 1 and 5 are fairly typical. The changes needed to increase the retention factor values are covered fully in the reverse phase title in this suite. For now, however, it is enough to understand that retention has a big impact on resolution. If we relate all this back to the airport analogy, increasing the number of shops from 2 to 5 will make a big difference in separating the tourists. But if the moving walkway is already 2 kilometres long, with hundreds of shops, then increasing the length of the walkway and the number of shops won't make a lot more difference to the separation. You might also notice as you move the slider bar that the peaks do get a little fatter as the retention time is increased. As noted in the first section, this always happens in chromatography. And fatter peaks will make resolution worse. However, resolution is obviously getting better. So what is going on here? Well, often in chromatography, there are competing events. In this case, one event is that the longer the molecules are in the column, the more time they will have to spread apart, and the fatter the peak becomes. But the second event, and the one that wins out in this case, is that as the molecules interact more with the stationary phase, the different chemistries of the components leads to better resolution. So even though the peaks do get fatter, the peaks do move apart more as each of the components have more chance to interact with the stationary phase. You might also notice, if you do the maths, that the resolution value is not exactly the result of the contribution from retention alone. There are two other contributing factors, and these are selectivity and efficiencies, which will be discussed in the next sections.